Hello one, hello all, welcome back to the fourth episode of The List. This is 2211. These go to 11. Uh, before I go any further, I've had new patrons since last week. A big welcome to Chad Arms, also known as WrestleManiac1130. I figured out that it's, it's the way he says it is you have to think of Eddie Vedder singing Even Flow. And that's how you get out the 1130 the way he does it. The even Flow, 1130. All right, that's enough. Also, a big, a big, you've got a big dick, sir. Thank you to um, M4 Movies. You don't have your real name out there. I know your real name, but I don't know if you want that out there. So I'm just going to say M4 Movies, the YouTube channel, M4 Movies. Thank you so much. Like I said, you must be well hung for the support you're showing. Much appreciated. Uh, enjoy the show. Number 20, Lady Boy. Oh, no, wait, that's the Bangkok movie. No, no, Lady Bird, Lady Bird. Um, yeah, a lot, lot of lot of praise and, and hype behind this movie. Really good. Um, I think I gave this four stars. A at this point, from from 20 in, that you could see a lot of these movies on a lot of people's top tens, top fives. Um, they're just for various reasons. I have certain movies higher and lower, whatever. Um, Lady Bird feels familiar to me, and I feel like it's good. It's really good, um, not outstanding. Um, it feel like it seems like something like this comes along every couple of years, and people go crazy over it because of the. Um, how do I skate past this one properly? Because of the fact that a female wrote it, directed it, um, is a witty character in the film. That to me doesn't make the movie good. Um, it, it, it just kind of fogs up the narrative as far as I'm concerned. It, it's, it's a good movie. It feels a lot like Juno in a different scenario as far as I'm concerned. I don't, I don't know very many high school girls that talk like that, act like that. And this is a very similar situation where it's a high school age girl who's awfully witty, awfully smart, awfully uh, intelligent. Um, not intelligent, shit. I'm going to lose people on that one. Mature, mature. Granted, women mature faster than men. I can't back out of this fast enough, can I? <clears throat> I guess the whole thing is um, there are creative women out there. We don't have to make a crazy fuss over it when it happens. Um, this is good. It's not, oh my God, it's great. It, it almost feels like there's a handicap because a woman made it. And I don't think that should be the case. Um, you could read between the lines on that but my thing is, what, what does it matter who made the movie? It just should be good. And I do think that more women should be. <sighs> 19, give me 19, quick. Um, let me say, Robert Pattinson, my apologies for anything I've ever said about you in the past because, oh, he can act. Um, good time is, is, I don't wanna say it's a good time. It's, it's a really, really good movie. Um, and Robert, where did Robert Pattinson come from? Granted, people, people, I've, I've seen people say that he's, he's good in Cosmopolis, Co Cosmopolis, whatever the, whatever the shit that's called. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't buy into that one so much here. He's convincing, convincing New York accent, convincing scruffy dude, you know, trying to do things at, at, at all costs. Um, I think it takes place over the course of a day. Um, I can't say too much about it without giving too much of it away. Uh, he's trying to frantically get something done over the course of a night, and, and time is of the essence. Uh, really incredible performance. Um, unfortunately, I can't say anything about like the filmmaking aspect because it's, it's shot kind of grittily. Uh, no, nothing stands out about the cinematography, but the performance is really, really kind of shine in this. Um, I'm sorry, Robert Pattinson. I, I lean towards movies with, with language or, or people that, that cannot be liked or, or shouldn't be liked or there's something quirky about their, their attitude that uh, perhaps to a mainstream audience seems a little off. Um, but Wilson is, Woody Harrelson in Wilson plays a very, Funny, funny to me. It's dark. It's dark humor, but it's it's a very funny time. 
if, if you think along the lines of things that I enjoy quite heavily, like the ref, if, if you can get yourself in that mindset of what type of people or what, what type of humor is in that movie, Wilson is a lot more of the same. Uh, same writer, director of Ghost World, I think. Uh, if I'm wrong, this is not going to be seen by you, but I, it's, it's one of those two, and I, I should hopefully be a good editor and do something about that in front of my face. But it, yeah, some of, some of that is prevalent, if that is the case. Uh, a bit of a quirky comedy, uh, dark he says he says what most people think if if he can, if he can figure that out, and it's a, it's a it's a really sweet story. It's a, just a guy who has no filter, but he's trying to again trying to do things for his fan. Am I spoiling it? Uh, good intentioned guy who has no filter. That's what I could say about the movie, I guess. Number seventeen, Detroit, or Detroit or Debt Riot, if you have Listexia. Joy, please. It's about one singular moment in that, that, that time frame, that Detroit riots. Um, it feels to me like, it, it's, it's, it, it's not. It feels to me like a, like a horror. If you think of movies like The Strangers, um, it's something like that. Like these, these people are trapped in a house and they're being held against their will. Really, really, um, I guess thriller is a, is a better way to say it. Uh, it's it's not really. I just keep talking myself in circles. It's a thriller, and it's 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 about things that actually happen, which makes it even worse. Um, John Boyega, for for him being listed as the like one of the main actors in this film, he's he's not in it that much. Don't don't get too married to seeing John Boyega in this movie that much, but. Uh, great performances all around, and a really, really tense, tense ride. How do you say something about a movie that's about a bad movie, but it's actually a good movie? And it's it's really funny. Um, I think you kind of need to know about the room to really like. I, I'm not sure if this movie plays as funny and and hits the right marks if you don't know about the character it, like I, i'd like to know what somebody thinks of this movie or, or, or how they're perceiving certain parts of this movie without knowing anything about the room or tommy wiseau because you know, it takes a little bit before they get to the actual filmmaking process of the room so i don't know uh, how appreciated some of it. it it will probably mean more to somebody who's seen the room and it'll probably hit harder to somebody that's seen the room rather than not um, but I've seen them quite a few times. Uh, it's it's quite an interesting story. I would say read the book first because the book covers things a, li a, a bit less uh, comedically so. I, I feel like they were avoiding some things with this movie because Tommy Wiseau ultimately had to sign off on this. So definitely read the book first before venturing into this. Or if you watch this and you're still intrigued, check the book out. I think this is the highest superhero movie that I have listed. Uh, Logan, which plays way more like a, a revenge western type thing. And wow, it's a shame that Fox is no longer Fox and they're now Disney Fox because they were doing things differently. Things like Logan and Deadpool at the very least is what I'd like to see from superhero movies different. Um, yeah, really hard R rating right off the bat. Just prepare yourself for that. A lot of blood, a lot of gore. Um, fucks, brutal kills, as Dennis would say. Um, but a, a good story nonetheless. A, a really good time. Takes place a bit in the future. So you have an old, rusty Logan. And just, you know, just more like this, please. More like this, please. Number 14, one of the best social horrors. Uh, I would say it's a, it's a, a hard social drama. Get Out. Um, sure, it has a couple of horror elements, a, card, a couple of horror tropes maybe, but it's more a social commentary. I think it's, 
it's look who's coming to dinner meets the Stepford Wives, if if I could say that it seems like something we've seen before. Um, really, really well done. Uh, it, it, it's funny, I recently picked up the Blu-ray and saw the alternate ending, and man, if you get a chance to see the, the alternate ending, check that out, because if there's a, a cut that they've released or, or or will release with the original ending in place, Man, that's a more powerful movie if you ask me. That's just me saying that though. Number 13, what are the odds that 13 is my pretty controversial pick? Alien Covenant, um, I liked it quite a bit. It was, it was I, I think as high as two at one point in my, my list. Um, yeah, I really, really, really like Prometheus and Alien Covenant carries on that story a bit. And if anything, Michael Fassbender in two roles fucking sells out for this movie. And he's he's really, really coming into his own as David. Um, and unfortunate, it almost seems unfortunate. Like for those of you who want Xenomorphs, you're gonna feel ripped off. For those of you who want the Prometheus thing to, to go its angle, you're gonna feel a little cut short. Um, but a really good blend, uh, th th like, this is a movie that probably, just like Prometheus, I've seen it twice now, it, it gets better for me as I watch it. Mostly. I don't care about the Xenomorph angle. I, I liked the, the, the arc that Prometheus was going. Um, one of the best villains or villain arcs we've seen in a second film of a series this year. Not the best. Um, I, again, a lot of these movies, it's they, they could be higher due to performances. Some of them could be lower. Valerian, lower due to performance. Darkest Hour, higher due to performance. Um, I feel like this is a really good companion film. It's, I forgot who I spoke to that said it was a little too wordy for them. It is, it's, it's, it's takes place in England during the, the, the peak of shit city as far as World War II is concerned. Um, but it's, it's a bunch of like politics and, and Churchill dealing with uh, his, his rise and the struggles of Germany in World War II. And in the middle of this film, they, they have the Dunkirk moment and what Churchill was doing during that. And I really feel like if, if you want a, a really double bill fun experience, <clears throat> stop Darkest Hour right before the Dunkirk thing, then watch Dunkirk then finish Darkest Hour, and you'll probably set aside five hours for that, but I think it's a, it's a crisper experience. Um, I don't know, I don't know if you have five hours to, to play movie cut up like that, but uh, I, I, I it, words. And lastly, for this list, number 11, It. Um, it says something. I'm gonna try to stop saying it. But it's gonna be impossible. See, I just said it's really hyped. I didn't want to like this movie, but what's funny is everything about the horror aspect isn't that strong to me, but the story really, really is. Um, I remember Roger from Channel Donstar saying that he watched this after the second season of Stranger Things and was kind of let down because it felt Stranger Thingsy. Uh, I could see that. Uh, me, I felt like it's the best representation of kids and what kids say and do since, I don't know, Stand By Me, uh, The Goonies. Kids talk like, like Adults, they don't they don't know what what they're doing that what they're saying, but but you know when kids start hanging out with each other and you know 12 13 14 They start sounding like like little dicks and this movie does that really well. I I, I enjoyed this I didn't care so much about the 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 clown as much as everybody's fucking ape shit about it um, the the story itself and and the, the, the Going along with the kids that was that was quite powerful and, and, and well done as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so that's this, the 2211 portion of the list. Uh, next, it's the top 10. Uh, comment down below, let me know what you thought. I'm dying to know what, how 
much disagreement I have with the Alien pick, but uh, anything you've seen in this list and agree, disagree, let me know down below. Um, yeah, so we're almost there. We're almost there, and I, I might have it all done within a month. Coming back to fruition, people. Coming back. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Otherwise, have a day. I'm shedding like a fucking, my face is shedding like a goddamn Harlem crackhead. <clears throat> dry skin, dry, my skin's dry.